All right, everyone, I just got done with uh, doing my <clears throat> new fuel line setup. So I converted everything over to uh, AN fittings, um, 6 AN size line and fittings. Um, <clears throat> started off with swapping out the fuel filter. I have a can n fuel filter, and it's actually off of, it's actually off of a uh, 2001 Silverado, if you search that. Um, That'll be one that you can use. Um, it's used on many Chevys, Corvettes, a uh, couple of their uh, high horsepower cars. <clears throat> and the reason why I use that filter is because one, it has AN fittings that you can switch over to. So you just buy the adapters and then you can switch over to AN fittings. So it makes converting everything else uh, really easy. And then I switched over to an aftermarket AM uh, fuel pressure regulator So it was just easier just to go a and fittings all the way around Just basically your beginning and your end points will obviously still stay uh, The regular clamps, but you can buy the cool little end clamps like I bought Like right here that make it make it look like an a and fitting so <clears throat> um, The original fuel pressure regulator sits here intake manifold is right behind it so um, my original plan was hopefully to get it right here, but since it has two uh, uh, inputs coming off of the uh, fuel rail, kind of made it hard because the, the the it ends up being pretty wide uh, once you put the fittings and everything on it. So my thought putting it there didn't work. So then I thought, okay, maybe I'll just use a Y adapter and be able to put it right in front. But again, it was still too bulky. So I just went ahead and used both input lines that uh, the, the fuel pressure regulator had. So one line comes here to the left side of the rail, right side of the rail goes down to there. So it's feeding both both lines at the same time, just like the uh, OEM fuel pressure regulator did. But you can go and switch over to a Y adapter here if you wanted to, and then just run a single line out. I just felt that the dash six lines on the Y adapter and everything was too bulky. So I switched over and just ran it like that. But it's the first time I've ever made fuel lines as well. So I hope when I test them out, they're not leaking. I'm still waiting on my actual uh, gauge. It should be here tomorrow, I hope. I'll pop the gauge in. And once I start getting all my stuff back, I can turn power to it and see how uh, see how it goes. See if I got any leaks or had to redo any of the lines. So again, Canon uh, fuel filter off a of 2001 Silverado. It is E capable, so if you're running to run uh, E85, 54, whatever you want, it will work. I used it in my 240, and I ran 30 pounds of boost on E54, no problem, in my 240. So, well capable of any power that you're gonna throw at it, especially in a Cedric or Gloria, or any OEM capability. But now, I can change my fuel filter within minutes, just pop off a couple connectors and it's out. And the filter, Canon filter was only like 12 bucks. So well, well worth the money. And there's the bracket I made. So where the uh, OEM <clears throat> fuel uh, filter amounted to, took that out. Um, everything, I'll go and get some uh, NN braiding lines, uh, brackets, and I'll make everything be like that and it'll be sturdy, safe. But there it is. Two connections, one to the filter, one to the fuel pressure regulator, filter the feed line to the fuel rail and then the fuel pressure regulator to the other side of the fuel rail any questions feel free to hit me up